fairly well, but this year they haven't done very well at all. And I'm not sure what's going on. So anyway, I, th I think we just send them. We've, we've had so much communication between Rachel and I with them that I think a letter will probably be the best thing to do to get get that done. Well, what does the finalizing? Uh, excuse me. Uh, do we want to make it five days? I'd make it. Time I'd make it three what? days because three days. we have been so much we've time with them. We've we've exhausted three business, three business days. Yeah, we've exhausted. And can I ask him a question? Should they be performing any work in those three days that we're requesting their liability well, and their workers count? What what I had told. <clears throat> Mary Ann was I didn't think it was really fair to not pay them for the work that was previously done but until they've got the insurance in place I don't think you really want them back working for you exactly right. you know so you are suggest we have we have two checks one of them is not signed mm -hmm. so your suggestion would be to issue those checks well if they've already performed the work yes right, they and have the work is done i don't know that we have a legal basis even though they didn't provide us with the insurance they've done the work mm -hmm. so we actually owe them the money so i think i just pay them the money because the work's been performed but i would put in the letter that you are not to perform any further work until you provide these insurance certificates, certificates. And if they're not provided, your services your will be. Your services are, ter are hereby terminated. Yeah. yeah. And uh, that letter should probably be sent certified? Either certified or hand delivered. I mean, you'd want to make sure they get it. Okay. Did you get all that, that their, their position would be terminated? We had a motion on the table last meeting. Do we need to rescind that? Because to not pay them. There was a motion not to pay them. There was a motion not to pay them on that was passed at the last meeting. Do we need to turn that around? Well, I it's actually in the bills. It was in the bills. Was, and yeah. so if we motion to pay all bills and don't put that caveat yeah. in there, yeah. they this will time be, you'll yeah, pay all we bills. Didn't, so we didn't specify. Yeah, we did. We said it would. We contractor didn't care. Care. Yeah, we didn't we, say cottage we, care we, we just not pay, uh, there was a motion not to pay a contract because he had not supplied yeah the insurance right. Right. right right so yeah. do we need to turn that around or if we pay all the bills this time well you I don't remember the context of the motion to be honest with you I think it was just we're gonna pay all the bills except, except. one because they haven't supplied us with the and there, it was moved and supported to right. do that Right. So I think if you just make a motion pay all bills. to pay all bills, including <laughs> yeah. the health one. The, right. Okay. I think including covered. the health yep. checks yep. from last time? Yep. Okay, because I have it. Yeah. Okay. It was only one last right. time. Okay, great. So so given that um, that situation, uh, my and what could we do quickly? My thinking is, why don't we use, I don't know why we didn't anyway, but why don't we use Hobie to do this? Well, Cottage Care was already with us. Oh, that's right. Okay, that's why. <laughs> well, why don't, we could use Hobie. I mean, sure. he could put it in the docks. He can hold on. Mm, He's... Back up. It was a bid. Yeah, Cottage Care won the bid. Won the bid. Cottage Care Hobie bid. Hobie even came on. Yeah, Cottage. They had it for the last Hobie three years. Hobie never bid. No. No, no. He was not one of the bidders. Mm -mm. He never bid. No. So Cottage Care got it because they were the best. Right. And they had already the been with us about a year. Yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah, I understand that. But I'm just saying, you know, we're in a different situation. We have an independent contractor working for us who's doing, I think, a very good job. I mean, As he provided the paperwork for his employees. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then there's no problem. Yeah. And yeah, that's what I think. He's, he's got liability. workers' comp and liability. He's, mm -hmm. you know, He's all set up. He doesn't have unemployment, but we'll he does. But his employees are also contractors. That's right. That's right. So he doesn't have to have unemployment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he has. And I think I think you know what? They're subcontractors. Yeah. Contractors. Yeah. And I think, geez, we got him. Why don't we just use Hobie and, sure. and let him go to work? I mean, and get this stuff done because I think he is taking a lot of pride in the township. I think he really feels good well, about the township. Well, it was his job to fix that door, that writing on the door. I know. Well, he no, he did go out and fix it, but it needs to be repainted. So that's the yeah, problem. We're waiting for it to warm up. So they couldn't. Paint. He couldn't paint it in the cold. Remember, because it, I do know. So yeah. yeah, yeah. 
And I have we have to track down the color and everything. Yes. Yeah, he went out there and cleaned and cleaned that thing. It was... In each paint. I know. I'll mention that to him just to remind him, but... Okay, Is do we have a motion, that, or do we need a motion to well, use Hobie? Well, we're going to have to draw up a contract, and then we could motion to contract when the contract is ready. Yeah. With Hobie. Yeah, well, we... And in the meantime... Uh, meantime, we'll do the work. So yeah. you're not going to bid the lawns or the docks anymore? I let's try it and see. I mean, we got a guy, what, and he's got people. I mean, why do we? And we know him, and he's doing a good job for us for almost a year now. Why wouldn't we give him the work? He's within the township. He's within. Lives in the township. I'm you know. okay. I'm just making a yeah. statement. Yeah, yeah, We're yeah. We're not yeah. gonna bid. Yeah. 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 Okay. So a motion to. Um, well, contract. Contract. Yeah with Hobie for, um, if in fact, I think we have to make an if, if Cottage Care can't um, bring the certificates. But even with that, we need to give Cottage Care a lot of feedback about how bad things are right now. Especially given I'd never even heard from Cottage Care about the dock. That just really took me to another spot. Okay, I'm mean, sorry, I was like, oh. <laughs> Okay, so you got it, Rachel? So I'm getting there. Okay. Tell us what you have. So motion to contract with Home Solutions if Cottage Care does not supply. Uh, well, I put some adjectives in there. Proper insurance for continuance. Good. Of work in the Eckler Township. Okay. Can somebody make that motion? Is somebody going to make that motion? I'll make it. Okay, support. Your second for it. I'll second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Okay, a um, couple of other things. Just to update, Brian is going to be June 23rd, and uh, and it will start at nine o'clock on both sides. And John, are, are you and um, you and another guy going to do it this year, like you did last year? Okay, I got. It. I'll give you the things afterwards. Okay. okay. Um, what day is it? June 23rd. I I can't tell you what day it is. It's middle. Sometime during the week. It's Tuesday or Wednesday, I think. Oh, Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, bikers. We have a hundred. Let's see. Four hundred bikers coming um, through Top and the Bee for Saturday, July 11th, and Monday, July 13th. So they're going to be stopping at um, the pavilion and having lunch, and they're going to be in you know, the grocery store, and they're going to be hopefully all over town. So we're really excited. I got a, a note from the convoys who are supporting that, and um, I talked to Patty already, and I've talked to Hobie, so we're going to make sure the toilets and everything, it, we, we have somebody there all the time, make sure we have toilet paper. And um, and clean up after them. So that's that's great for our little town to have um, four four hundred people coming. So very exciting. Um, I had a request for from Patty because she got a request about doing. A, would it be okay to do a farmers market one day a week in the? It, I think it's the one that your dad does down at um, Indian River. They would like to come to Top and the Beat and do it in the pavilion or in the parking lot there. And I didn't, I don't know if we have an ordinance for that, but I thought it would be a phenomenal idea to have a farmer's market, you know, right in that location. And they, I don't know if they're going to do it, but they asked Patty. And I told Patty, I thought it was okay, but I would mention it to the board. Is there anybody having a problem with them we bringing? We never reserved the pavilion. It's come. First come, first serve. Well, I think I think the like John's dad's cart needs will need to be would need to be in the parking lot. Um, Down at the end, north end. Probably. Yeah, it could we be could at the do it at the north end. Yeah, right, we probably can't tie up the library parking lot. People it just there. it'd just be at that end. I don't think that would be a problem. Does anybody oh. have a problem with having a farmers market down there? No, absolutely not. I think it's a wonderful idea. In fact, I'd like to see more of that. Yeah. No, the one in Sheboygan and the one in Indian River is run by the chamber, and he actually pays 
Oh, really? Yeah, oh, there's there's some there's type of special there's an event individual or that runs the show. Have. Oh, really? There's oh. a market master kind of thing. I'll talk to Patty about this. She didn't say anything about so, that. Because you get into different vendors with the same product, arguing about space or whatever. you got all kinds of things that pop up. Yeah. So would we... Pr there's somebody in Indian River that does that? Uh, the chamber. Oh, the chamber. Okay, I'll call. See how that works. Works. Yeah. Well, but we could, you know, we could do it. I mean, we could have like I mean, Patty I'm, or somebody do it. There's so a way, you, but you want you want a master of right. of the mm -hmm. show. You don't yeah. want. Do yeah. You, are you? You're not suggesting that we charge. I'm not suggesting that we charge. No, I'm just. He's just saying you want to make sure rules. that you, you have ground rules. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we need yeah. to come up with some sort of... Yeah, I'll call you. Would end up with a, with a semi parking lot fight amongst the farmers. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Have a big yeah. semi at each other, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll just follow up with... When there's one vendor, it's no problem. Yeah, but when you got a lot, I understand. I, got, I think it's a great point. I'll, I'll follow up with the chamber and see what they have at Indy River. Um, Another update, I think I told but, you all. Uh, just continue the discussion. Uh, I think the south end parking lot is, or north end parking lot is probably a good place for yep. it. But not tie the pavilion up. Yeah, I didn't, yeah, I agree with you. Uh, we have, Rachel, agreed to let the pavilion get uh, held, but that was for that walleye tournament. Now. Yeah, that's right, the that only, was years that, ago. That was the only yeah. time, but to, but to Dedicate the pavilion to a farmer's market for every Saturday of the summer. No, it, it would I be midweek. No, no, it's not what I'm saying. Not, yeah. Yeah. I'm saying that it, it, in the past it's been first come, first serve. And, and, and I'd and, like to see it that way, yeah, you know, for family groups and things like it. that. Yeah, because a lot of yeah. people have special right. parties all out of nowhere. Yeah, nowhere. family reunions, mm -hmm. all kinds of stuff. Yeah, but that in parking lot, that would be a perfect place for it. Yeah. Okay, great. I'll, I'll follow up and just bring that information and back. And when we get our new parking lot, we'll be perfect. Um, okay, just we had a situation. I just want you to know this because I think this is a great example of our, of our cameras. We had um, the toilet paper in our bathroom stolen. Three big, huge rolls of toilet paper stolen um, a, couple, a few days ago. I can't remember which day exactly it was. Anyway. Hobie had just had just filled the toilet paper, so we know the toilet paper was full, and he had just cleaned the toilets. He went out and came back for I can't remember all the reasons, and there was somebody had peed all over the men's bathroom. Up, they must have been standing up, according to him, on a uh, uh, on the stool, and they peed all over. And they had taken all the toilet paper, the two rolls out of the men's bathroom and the one roll out of the woman's bathroom. And we went to the cameras and we saw a mother and four children taking the toilet paper. And uh, we called the police, the sheriff's department, and the sheriff's department said that unless we had you know, a positive identification of who it was and the, or the driver's um, license plate that there was nothing we could do. So we went over to Jeff's who has a camera looking um, out, but we couldn't, there was nothing on it that we could see. The people did go into Jeff's store and they know, I mean, they didn't know who they were, but they were in Jeff's store. So, uh, because Colby followed up on all this, as, you know, he was really, he was really ticked because we had just cleaned the bathrooms. Um, there was also a sign in there, which Carl, I, you put the sign in because we saw you on camera too, and uh, it said, "No toilet paper. Call Mary and Gail with my telephone number." And I would just appreciate it if we're out of toilet paper. You could call me. I don't need the not sign. My job, as I told Hobie. Sign says, "Bring your own." Right? Yeah, that's right. No, that's exactly right. Job. I told Hobie if he's interested in maintaining those bathrooms, he probably should have his phone number in there in case of emergency. Yeah. He didn't seem to want to do that. Well, I'm not. I'm not crazy about having my personal. You know phone number in there either. And I think that if you, I, I would prefer you not to put up any sign then in the future. And, you know, people can call the Township Hall or they can call someplace else. But if you're going to use my phone number, I'd like you to have my permission. And I would not you like... You told me previously, if there's any issues, call you directly. Please I'm call me. You that. didn't call me directly. That's what I'm telling you. Because I was home that whole time this was going on and I never got a phone call from you. 
So you call me and I'll come, I'll take care of it. But don't put my name up on a sign in the bathroom. So that, anyway, I'm very pleased about everything that happened because I think Hobie did a great job. We were able to turn it around very quickly. Did they damage the dispensers? They didn't damage. He said they, they were able to get it. I don't know. He said they were able to pull it apart. They switch back and forth, and you can pull it apart underneath. And um, I... I don't know. I mean, it's funny because I just heard on the news last night a Cadillac. Did you wow, see the damage of Cadillac? Yeah. They took those bathrooms and just annihilated oh, them. Those were brand new too. Brand new they bathrooms. Just them. So it's it's pretty incredible. But um, somebody told me, well, one of the sheriff guys told me that we probably won't see them. That they were probably people just going through, and that we probably won't ever see them again. But you know, you never know. But I just was. It was really great. We got that far with it and figured out who it was and. And, and, you know, what they what, were doing. What is the medium you record on? Is it a CD? It's a, it's a camera. Well, it's a CD that lasts for two weeks, but it, it, you can have it up to two weeks. So, okay. and you can. We could print, can you take pictures? pictures off? Yeah, yeah. You can take pictures off of it. Yeah. You yeah. can. And we so have that. We have that, and we have the so pictures. You have the pictures? Let's hang them up in the post. Well, <laughs> we, I'll put them on the boat. I think there's, you know, like the police said, there's, you know, you can go so far you, with this. But anyway, um, it's just kind of sad, too, you know, on the other side. It was really sad to me to see who it was, but whatever. Okay. Um, yeah, training your kids to be thieves. Um, Okay, then the last thing I want to talk about was uh, roof, the roof and gutter. I have been, I have met with, um, before we did the roof and gutter uh, bids, I'm, I met with Kevin Flory because I wanted somebody to go up there and inspect what we really had and not just, you know, try to write something because I'm not very good at writing this kind of stuff. I really didn't understand it all. He went up on the roof and could tell us, you know, shows, shows me exactly where it is. He has pictures of the whole roof. Um, and he's writing us the specs for what we're going to put both. We're going to write a bid that's just a notice of bid, and then we're going to write specs that they have to pick up. And so he's doing all that for us. So I think, um, and he's writing uh, a three. He also thinks we should look at the soffits underneath the town hall, and he just wants to do a separate bid for that just to see what people come in at because he said those things are leaking and they're, you know, he he told me all the problems that he we had with those. So I said, well, we didn't vote on that, but why don't you just put it in and we'll look at we'll have it as a separate part of the bid. Um, that's for the town. That's the front of the town hall. Okay. Um, so I think he to, I'm sure he ha is going to have it done in the next few days or so, and then we'll print a bid. We'll write a the bid thing and get it in the paper. And we our plan was to have it for the July meeting, with with the um, idea that by October we would have it finished. They'd have to be able to finish it by the 1st of October. Or yeah, the, that'll probably be all in the bid. That, that will be in the bid, yeah. It's so going to for the depot and the town. Hall. It's for the whole mm -hmm. thing. It's for the three, it'll be three bids. The gutters, which is the one that, um, I mean, the gutters, the roof on the depot and the roof on the town hall, the whole town hall, including oh, the fire, okay. it's all one. Um, yeah, there's no way to split the town. That, there, no. There, there's no way. Um, and then the soffit will be a separate Probably part. An alternate. An al alternate yeah. alternate That's what he said, an alternate. Of the um, soffits on the front. Right. So anyway, that we should, we want to have it by um, the next meeting. So we'll be able to get the bids by the next meeting. Okay. Um, the fire department. I guess we're getting closer to summer <coughs> this year. Um, 11 runs for my side, 7 were medical, 2 were bonfires, 1 when you could burn, 1 when you couldn't, and then 2 actual building fires, 1 of our own, a small shed, and over here off Temple Road with Tuscarora. So that's kind of what we did fire-wise. And then as far as training, uh, lots of aerial stuff. We did water ops, changed the banners. <laughs> I figured after the snow in April, if I didn't change them, the snow again, I'd probably get ran out. <laughs> Took all the ladders after we were done, lubricated them. Uh, did the fire test for the whole county, 30 plus or minus, actually passed that practical test. And then came back, <coughs> went up on the roof and did some vertical vent training. I think 
I'm assuming that's when Kevin got his yeah, pictures. Yeah, it is, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Watched the apparatus for the parade, had the parade, and then we actually had a funeral detail for a uh, firefighter that died in the Yeah. So that's my moment. Here it is. I got my last two months combined. I didn't. I wasn't here last month, so I have June, uh, April, and May. I've got. Um, we've had one, two, three training sessions. Most of it was pumper practice down at the lake. Our run report, we've been a little busier too. We've also had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven medical runs. We had one brush fire that I wasn't here for. I had had trouble finding it. I think it was an illegal burn. We also had a cyst on a barn fire with Tuscarora. Okay, great. And that took care of us for the week. Two months. Okay. Um, John, do you have anything? Uh, one thing that I was I'm glad Tim come back. Uh, my son asked for a split on some land off the farm. It's a lower township, and they have the same assessor we do. And he had to fill out a written document explaining where he was and draw out a map and the whole nine yards and that document went to the Aloha Township Board after Clayton signed off on it for the land split. And it seems like because of that property that we just talked about here tonight, that might be something that would be appropriate. A written document rather than an individual with a, with a request in the minutes. We had a, a document that said this is the parcel that's being split or combined. Yeah, a we, get, trail pad. we do get those um, from Clayton. Um, at Board of Review. So we get a list of everything that's been split. No, we, you're talking about coming to the board? Yeah, my son had to take this document to the board and they voted on it in front of him as to what exactly was happening. Now, he didn't need to be present. Yeah. But if they had questions, it was nice that he was. Yeah. Well, that's something I can talk to Clayton about. I'm not sure it doesn't, if it, because I don't think every split's come to the board. We haven't. You know, we have had several splits that have never come to the board. But ones that require board approval. Board approval, approval. yeah. Right. Should should we have a paper okay. trail okay. to them? You, you all, I'm not going to be very popular when I say this, but we, you also can charge uh, a fee for land division, if you understand. Well, that wasn't in your request. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that was in your request. <laughs> I'm speaking okay. as an outsider. I have thought <laughs> we authorized Clayton to charge a fee for a land division review. Uh, like 50 bucks a split or something like that? I don't know that he does not I don't know if he does either. Um, he gets paid for it, yeah. But I know my son had to take the document and fill it all out. But if it... If it and we have the ones that don't meet the four to one or don't have uh, the road access, things like that. We have had those come, you know, Clayton has sent those to us and we've had, you know, a full package in the past. We've had several of those. But last month, when last Mr. Haslock came in, he said, Clayton approves this. This yeah. is okay with Clayton. Yeah, right. Yeah. No, that, that was weak. Yeah, that was very weak. And we didn't have... Yeah. I agree with that. that the, yeah. What I'm suggesting heads that off, Yep. which is what my son had to do and, for a while. And actually... Have Clayton's signature on a form. We, we, shouldn't, yes. we probably shouldn't consider any split in the future that has to have our approval without Clayton being in the room. That I was going to say that same thing. I, I, I talked no, to Clayton about that. They don't require his presence at all, but they actually had to... Yeah, but it would, yeah. you know... It would help. It would be much more helpful it, for it him sure, there. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and then if we have questions like we did, then we can send Clayton back to Tim. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Because obviously he works for us and so does Tim. So yeah. if Tim isn't here, you know, but I was fortunate he was here last month. Okay. Yeah, that's good. I'll talk to Clayton about that. I think you're right. Yeah. John, or Dennis, do you have anything? Uh, just that uh, you asked me to check with uh, the, the gutter Yep. contractor built on demand and I talked with him today and he is going to hold his price 
but he was on a job and he could not remember exactly what he quoted for us. And you know, he's, he was concerned that he quoted us what he what he thinks we needed. You know, with with respect to covered, I told him. I said, I did not look at your bid. I, want, I handed it over to the clerk in the sealed envelope because I treated it as a sealed bid. Right. You know, but, uh, you know, I, I, and I told him, I said, I know that if the board does go out for bid, I didn't hold any punches back at that. I figure you will be higher than anybody else. But I said, you have a different product. And for those that are interested, I did bring a show and tell thing that I can show you after the how this product works it's as a, as gutters go I I guess it should be obvious I kind of prefer this style rather than uh, the gutter helmet method of keeping leaves out and some of the other ones I've had those myself I had Genova gutters on my house that I took off and uh, okay Anything else? Nope. That's it. Nope. Nothing from you. Rachel. Um, we've uh, got a divot, our first, a first guy can remember a dividend check from our uh, insurance company in, in the um, $203. So. That means we're not, yeah, not, not using them, right? Yeah. A motion to pay the bills? So moved. Pay all the bills? Pay all the bills. And the ones that were withheld? Yes, only one was only one. The one with help. Mm -hmm. And I'll support that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Motion to adjourn. Or to the bills. We are adjourned. <laughs>